In our last video, we began to look at the contact list inside of Outlook Anywhere, and we saw how to create a new contact and then how to use it. In this video, I want to go ahead and show you how to create a distribution list and use that distribution list inside of Outlook Anywhere. So you can see here, I've gone ahead and logged into my training account, and right now I'm in my inbox in my mail section. So what I want to do is click on Contacts. When I do that, all of my personal contacts are going to appear here, along with the control bar here at the top. I'm going to click the drop down arrow to the right of the New button, and then select Group. When I select Group, it's going to give me the ability to name the group and assign people to the group. So I'm going to go ahead and name this group um, Training Team, and then this is where you're going to go ahead and add members to the group. Now if I go ahead and click on members right here, and again that made that very large, so let me make it smaller here, it will bring you into your address book. So I can choose people from my contacts, or I can choose people from the global address list to be in this, um, in this uh, item. I'm going to go ahead here and come into my contacts, and I'm going to go ahead and double click on Lori Arthur right here. When I do that, it went ahead and placed her as a member of this group. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit more and double click on Marcy. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and double click on Kathleen. And again, if you wanted to add somebody from the campus global address list, you can click on global address list right here, find the individual, and then go ahead and double click on them. I don't have to scroll down through all these records to find the person that I want. I can actually just click right here and type the person's last name in. When I do that and hit enter, you're going to see I get everybody with that last name. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on David here, and you'll see he is also added to uh, my list. When I click OK, it will bring me out of the global address list, and it's going to show me the members of this group. And you can see I actually double clicked on David twice, so I have an extra entry for him here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the backspace key to delete that extra entry. Now, one very common mistake at this point will be to think, okay, I've selected the members, I'm ready to go, I can close out of this and use it. But that isn't actually true because you've selected these members, but you haven't actually added them to the group. So the one extra step you need to take is clicking Add to Group, and that will install all those individuals in the uh, group that you've just created. If something comes from your personal address list, you can see the icon is different than if you add somebody from the global address list. So even though all these individuals are campus employees, since I pulled most of them out of my personal contacts, they're going to have that icon right there. You can also click somebody and remove them from the group. So if I click on David right there and remove from group, you'll see he is now gone. When I'm finished, I just go ahead and click Save and Close. And now I have a training team um, distribution list in my contacts. And you see here I am on contacts, and if I scroll down, there's the training team. If I click on, or first of all, you're going to notice most of your contacts are in regular type, but distribution lists are in bold. And you're also going to see it's got a little two-faced icon right there. So you can see very quickly that that is a um, that that is a, a distribution list. Now, if you want to use your distribution list, you go ahead and go into Mail and create a new message. In the To field, just like you could begin typing somebody's name out, you can go ahead and type the name of your distribution list. And when you click Check Names, it should find that there. Alternatively, you could click on To and go into your address book and select them manually. So that's all there is to creating a distribution list and using it in an email. You can also use this distribution list for meeting requests as well. We didn't see that, but it works exactly the same way as a normal email.